Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. The bill passed in Florida earlier this year, now awaiting the governor's signature, allows student athletes to enter into endorsement deals and profit off their name, image, and likeness, so long as they aren't directly paid by their schools. Dozens of sports, male and female athletes, will be able to partic participate in the free market. House sponsor Chip LaMarca calls the 31-page final report put out by the NCAA an embarrassment. They basically said, here's the free market. We're just going to remove this part and this part and this part. You can play within the, within the guidelines. The report recommends prohibiting group licensing for things like video games and excludes shoe and apparel endorsements. You can do basically social media, uh, some other endorsements and advertisements, but nothing of real uh, consequence. FSU sports management professor Dr. Jason Pappas says the NCAA tried to strike a balance between allowing athletes to profit while reducing recruitment advantages. We wanted to make it as equitable as possible for all uh, institutions. The sponsor of Florida's legislation says the NCAA's plan is especially discouraging given the situation student athletes are facing due to the coronavirus. 14 to 20 percent are experiencing homelessness. 20 to 40 percent are experiencing food insecurity. They haven't even relaxed these rules in the middle of a pandemic. If signed into law, Florida's legislation will take effect next July in time for the fall season. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Jake Stofan.